begin to taper off. A long duration winter storm, and that's what happens when you get amounts like this, 12 to 18 inches or more, potentially even toward the tail end of that storm system near blizzard conditions toward our lakeshore areas. And a little bit of a concern where that changeover is a little later, that's still a major storm, 6 to 12 inches possible, the southern edge of our viewing area. Tuesday in the mid-40s, Wednesday 30s, but we turn colder through the course of the day. Rain to snow, snow could last the better part of 24 to 36 hours, resulting in what would be or could be historic snow totals. And that will wrap up Thursday night. Still very poor travel expected into Friday morning as the cleanup ensues. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. I thought I'd make this quick little video here today to show you the weather change that we're about to have. Yesterday morning, woke up with snow on the ground. We had like a three to five inch snow that we had earlier last month. And then uh, it stuck around because we had cold, cold weather. But then yesterday morning, it had we had snow still on the ground. And it reached to almost 50 degrees yesterday. So, yeah, the snow all melted. Snow's all gone. There's a few spots of snow still sitting around. But anyways, reached uh, almost 50 degrees yesterday. We had some sunshine. Now today, it's uh, lower 40s. And we got some uh, rain. So we got rain before there before the storm we're about to proceed in partake in there's my uh, f-150 frame but anyways I want to do this quick video and uh, show that what the weather change is gonna have happen so right now as you can see it's raining it's a uh, lower 40 degree, lower 40s probably 40 maybe 39 degrees out raining it's supposed to start snowing after dark, after sunset, so I'm assuming rain is 7 o'clock or so, it's going to start snowing. By morning, we're supposed to have 3 to 5 inches of snow, and it's supposed to snow all day tomorrow. So, I'll do a little video when I get up in the morning. I might, well, I'll do some shooting some video when it starts to snow, and uh, then we'll get into the snowstorm. So, yeah. Get ready to watch this snowstorm partake in. Catch you guys later. Our total snowfall forecast of 8 to 14 inches going to be expected. And that's going to lead us to very slow travel this evening, tonight, and very poor travel, especially as we go into tomorrow morning and through the day Thursday. A little bit of uh, daylight still just trying to hold on to the region. Gives us just a look at some of those lower visibilities. The snow that's pelting down across downtown, and it does look quite quiet down towards Summit Street on our Fifth Third Bank camera. Temperatures continue to fall. We're now down to 32 degrees. Winds are picking up, and it's going to be that delicate balance of temperatures falling and winds increasing, which is going to increase the feel of this winter storm. It is all snow across the Toledo Metro, and you may be thinking it's about time. It took quite a bit of time for that rain to snow transition across the Metro, and that boundary essentially hang up across the Metro area, but all steady snow, and there are some bluer shades that are a little darker just over toward the Indiana State Line. That is steadier and heavier snow that could bring some snowfall rates of up to an inch per hour. I'm right there. Rain, though, in right Finley, below Finley. Sandusky, and Tiffin. Still raining We're here. Seeing a transition though over the next 60 to 90 minutes, you can actually get detailed updates with that hour-by-hour -hour forecast for your community on our free WTOL 11 weather app. And again, seeing some indications, we're going to get these deeper areas of blue. Those are heavier areas of snow, and that was highlighted earlier today by up to an inch per hour snowfall rates that will be possible. A good live look out toward Perrysburg to show that snow continues to fall. Look at the roadways. That is a 475 at Quarry Road. Road, starting to become snow covered. The only area that is not snow covered, look at Finley. It's a beautiful view of just wet roads. And if you had to travel this evening, it's not all that bad of news. Snow to, uh, accumulations, the total, 8 to 14 inches. That is going to be through tonight and tomorrow. And got to consider, we're going to add up about 24 hours of continuous snowfall into tomorrow evening. We have winter storm warnings and even some ice warnings down toward the Ohio River. And this storm system extends from Texas and it will, will go all the way across the Great Lakes and into New England about 
2,000 miles of winter storm warnings. It is a massive winter storm. Steady snow tonight. Temperatures will be dropping back through the 20s and actually could end up in the teens. I do anticipate we'll get another surge of steadier snow tonight into tomorrow morning, and it will be snowing steadily tomorrow morning and a great opportunity. We're going to con continue our team coverage right here on WTL 11. You can join meteorologist Ryan Weekman and meteorologist Diane Phillips as that snow will be steady tomorrow morning. An additional four to seven inches of snow possible tomorrow, and I expect it will continue through tomorrow afternoon, tapering off into tomorrow evening. Get steadier snow tonight. Four to seven inches of snow will be expected, down to 18 for the overnight low, 22 tomorrow, the winds will pick up. That snow will be lighter and fluffy, a little bit more able to blow around and drift, and that will create some very, very difficult travel, perhaps even some roadways that see snow drifts that could make them impassable. Total accumulations, 8 to 14 inches. We'll carry our alert through tonight into Thursday. Some snow blowing and drifting in that snow, 22 the high on Thursday. We're cold as we dig out Friday. Single-digit lows, the high of 17, could fall below zero Saturday morning, 19 the high on Saturday, and highs barely climb back to the 20s, Sunday into Monday. Fairly quiet weather then next week, which means no additional storm systems in sight. Let's have a weak little clipper system that may graze the area on Wednesday. So there's a lot of people who are still... Okay, it's 8 o'clock here now. And it's starting to snow. 8 o'clock Wednesday night. So it's got a little dusty in the snow now. So, yeah. By morning, we should have 3 to 5 inches of snow, as they're saying. Already north of us, they've already got like 5 inches of snow up north of us. In Toledo, in the area. So, it's just starting to, it's starting to snow here now. So, we'll commence this snowstorm. See what happens. See what happens in the morning. Be back with you later, guys. And the temperature has dropped significantly, significantly too, since the last time I uh, recorded it, started recording, and started this video. It feels like it's dropped 10 degrees at least. And the wind has picked up. So, yeah. It's getting, getting cold. Wind's coming in, and the snow is finally here. So I'll get back with you probably tomorrow morning. See what it happens here. See how much snow we get. Okay, it's Thursday morning. And as you can see, we've got a little snow. It has gotten colder. But we didn't get the snow that we did said we was going to. Looks like we may have gotten a, maybe a couple inches, maybe an inch. We'll see here. Got on my Durango here and check the depth here. Ah, we haven't got an inch of snow. Look at there. Not even an inch. I think you take on the ground and won't you can't measure it very accurately. I'm going on top of my Mustang here and see. Yeah, not even an inch. About a half inch of snow. So yeah, here's our little blizzard snow, and uh, we haven't gotten a whole lot. It's still st it's still snowing, so we'll see what happens after uh, the snow has uh, accumulated a little more over the day. So yeah, so our little snowstorm has occurred. So, check back for you later. Alrighty, it's after 5 o'clock. It's been snowing all day today. Let's see how much snow we've got. It's still snowing. Let's see how much snow we've got in here. It's kind of hard. Huh? We can go about an inch. Let's go around here a little more. I'd say that's. I'd say we've got a little more than an inch of snow. But for the most part, I think that's about all we've got. It's off the top of my Mustang here. And eh, inch. Inch there.
top of this car. A little over an inch. So yeah, that's the kind of snow we've gotten. I suppose if you check the ground here, go in the ground, you can see we got and it says five inches almost on the ground, but that's on the ground. So yeah, we've probably we've gotten a couple inches of snow. But nowhere near the amount of snow what they said we was gonna get. Nowhere near. They said anywhere from uh, 10 to 14 inches of snow, and we've got maybe four. But, you know, it is what it is. But it's it's still snowing. We could get some more. So, uh, yeah, add to this video. And uh, get back to you later. See what we got by morning. It's still snowing out, so it could uh, add some more inches here. So we'll get back with you. All right, everybody. It's Friday after snowbageddon. Let's see how much snow we got. We got a little, little drifty here, but let's see what's up here on top of the Durango here. Not much. Hard to get an accurate reading on some of this stuff sometimes. But anyways. This is the, the apocalypse of snow. The sun's out today. What do we got on top of the Mustang here? Eh, we got a, an inch on top of the Mustang here. Let's go out here a little further out here in the yard and see how much snow we get. Uh, I, I can check on top of this van and see how much snow's on top of the van here. This would be a pretty good reading, maybe. What do we got up here on the snow, top of the van? Oh, we got... Almost six inches on top of the van here. Wow. A nice little drift there beside the drink the Dakota. Let's go out here in the middle of the yard here somewhere. See what kind of snow depth we got out here. We got there. Almost eight inches. Almost eight. We got seven inches. There's seven inches there. So, yeah. Sun's out today. It's like 18 degrees out. No wind. Nice and calm. So, uh, yeah. Pretty nice little... This is a nice day. Other than being cold, not bad. Might take the Durango out. Uncover the Durango. And, uh, yeah, go for a spin. See how the roads are. I'll try to get the Durango uncovered here. Alrighty, guys. Figured maybe you guys like to see my... Clean off my Durango. I want to test out my new gloves I got. Here's some new gloves I got. I'm going to test these suckers out see how good they are. See how warm they keep my hand.
Always good to have a good ice scraper with a decent brush on it so you can get your snow off your vehicles. So yeah. There she is, all cleaned up. Okay, I'm gonna pull my Drango out here and I'll show you how much fun this is to get out in the snow. Yeah, that was nothing. So much fun in the snow. Go for a little ride. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's see how it is like out. Seatbelt on, buzzer's bringing. Get that to lose the buzzer. Much of snow apocalypse. Got a little bit of snow, but not a whole lot. Well, I'll pause this for a minute. I got a lot of snow piled up around. I'm gonna pause this and I'll get back with you. Okay guys, I wanted to show you this, how much fun my road is in winter time, and how much fun it is to get into the driveway. As you can see, you go down the hill here, and we got a bridge for the creek, that's Riley Creek. It floods down through here in the summertime, springtime, we get a lot of rain. There's the creek, and you can see it go up the hill here. The hill is always a sheet of ice in the wintertime, so you kind of got to get a rolling start to get in the driveway. And I'll show you how much fun it is. You go in here, go over to the side here, a little bit, you get a running start at this, this thing. Yeehaw! Yeah, 
There we go. That's how you get in. That's how much fun it is. I don't care who you are. If you got a two-wheel drive vehicle, you're not getting in this driveway. That's how much fun it is. So catch you guys later. So everybody, if you like my little ventures of snowpocalypse and this little uh, little video series I did with the snow and the storm we had, uh, give me a like, thumbs up, like, subscribe. Yeah, give me some comments and. This is Chef Shade Tree out. Catch you guys in the next one. The Durango. Fun, fun. Love the snow. Catch you guys later.